So in today's video, we discuss the fun topic of farts and specifically what your farts can tell you about your health. Roll the titles. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. As always, just a quick reminder that I'm now offering the SIBO, organic acid, stool tests and consult via my website. So if you have any health or digestive problems, then consider taking these tests as they will provide a lot of very detailed information upon which you can start making informed decisions and then start getting your health back on track. And on that bombshell, to the video. So some farts are quiet. Some farts are repulsive. And some farts appear out of nowhere. Bit of noise in the now farting is absolutely a normal part of a healthy functioning digestive system and in fact the duration accompanying symptoms and smell can tell you a lot about what's going on with your health. So if you've been letting out some absolute rippers recently stay tuned and I'll explain what your gas is probably telling you about the state of your digestive tract. So the first type of fart to discuss is the scent free fart. Now the average person will fart about 15 times a day and this can be a result of normal fermentation in the colon or even swallowing air. So if you are not chewing your food properly and you're eating food like it's going out of fashion, then this can cause excessive air to enter your digestive tract that can cause excessive flatulence at the other end. So obviously if you're having normal scent-free farts, then this is perfectly normal, but you could help reduce the frequency of the farts by chewing your food properly and by not taking in big breaths before eating and drinking. You can also reduce the amount of gas by avoiding things like fizzy drinks, chewing gum and processed refined sugars. The next type of fart is what I call the magic fart or Gandalf fart. You shall not pass! So picture the scene, you're in the office speaking to your colleagues and then all of a sudden out of nowhere you get an overwhelming urge to let out an absolute ripper. And this I'm calling the magic or Gandalf fart, but fear not, this type of fart is absolutely normal. So after you've eaten your meal, your body undergoes a physiological reflex called the gastrocolic reflex. This reflex controls the motility of your lower gastrointestinal tract following your lovely bean burger. As a result of this reflex action, the large intestines has increased motility, which is just the speed at which your food and feces travels through your intestines. And as such, you may let out a cheeky little Gandalf out of nowhere as the gas tries to make a break for it, often at the most inappropriate of times. Uh, yeah, no, don't touch me. That's it. Yeah, uh, oh. Next up, we all know them, the silent but violent type. So if someone next to you drops one of those foul smelling sulfur stink bombs, then it's often like walking into an egg sandwich. Now these types of fart on occasion might be perfectly normal depending on what you've eaten. So if you've consumed a lot of sulfur rich foods such as onions, broccoli and cabbage, then it's probably nothing to be concerned about. But if your farts are constantly foul smelling, then it could be a sign of dysbiosis in the gut, small intestinal bacterial overgrowth if you have lots of gas and bloating, or if you have very high amounts of methane dominant bacteria in your gut. So if you do have gut issues such as small intestinal bacterial overgrowth, dysbiosis, bowel issues, carbohydrate or fat malabsorption issues, then you will notice that most carbohydrates will be excessively fermented and cause foul smelling deadly power puffs. Now, if you don't have any gut issues, then carbohydrates will be fermented normally, creating normal amounts of gas. But one of the things that you will notice when your digestion is off is that higher FODMAP foods will start causing a lot of pungent smells. So FODMAP stands for fermentable oligosaccharides, disaccharides, monosaccharides, and polyols. And all these are is just different types of carbohydrates. So if you're having a lot of foul smelling gas with other gut issues such as reflux, belching, bloating and cramping, then reach out to your doctor, dietitian or nutritionist because it could well be a sign of an underlying problem that needs addressing. The next type of fart is what I call the burning ring of fire. So this type of fart can again be perfectly normal. So you know what it's like when you're eating a really hot spicy meal, you put the toilet roll on the fridge for the next morning and you know the farts over the next few hours may cause third degree burns. Now, if this burning sensation is not coming from spicy meals and you are getting them on a regular basis, then you certainly want to get them checked out, especially if they are accompanied by diarrhea. 
It could signify bacterial infections such as C. difficile and even parasites. But again, the burning farts would be accompanied by things like gas bloating, excessive belching and also cramping. The next type of farts to discuss are those what I would call the musical farts. You end up very gassy for hours on end and you could end up playing tunes like this guy. <laughs> Now again, if this happens every once in a while because you have eaten something that is not particularly agreed with you, then this is no problem. But if every time you're eating beans, lentils, asparagus or bananas, for example, you are playing a musical tune for hours on end, then it's probably a sign that something is not right in your gut. So this could be anything from stomach acidity issues, pancreatic enzyme insufficiency, gut motility issues, bile issues or even low diversity in your microbiome. So again, if you are farting for hours on end and this is accompanied by other digestive issues, then seek medical advice. So the final type of farts to discuss are the farts that could clear a room and it smells like something has died. What the heck? God, that smells like oh my God. Jesus Christ. You and these go way beyond the occasional silent but violent ripper. So if you're having a lot of farts that are simply putrid and these are accompanied by all sorts of digestive issues, then significant dysbiosis, severe SIBO or other serious infections could be the cause. So if you're having these type of farts with things like weight loss, bloating, nausea and fatigue, then be sure to get checked out. As with all of these types of issues discussed in today's video, resolve them while they are low level issues. Because if you leave these types of issues, then before you know it, your digestion is absolutely destroyed and you will be sharing a piss pint with Timothy Sheaf. So that's the end of today's video. I hope you all enjoyed. And as always, remember to look after your body because it's the only place you have to live. And I'll see you next time.